Hello, Rotor Heads. Today we're at St. Bart's Island at the Caribbean. And we're going to do some pinnacle landings. First one here, you can see he's landing on a yacht. I'm sure they won't mind. Nice deck. But the object is, is coming nice and slow. And um, take it easy on the controls. This one here, we're pushing these rocks just off the runway at St. Bart's. And um, approaching these, most rock formations you can land on. Some of them are pretty flat, some of them aren't. This one is not, it's pretty lumpy. So you kind of have to maneuver around a little bit once you get your skids down. <clears throat> and you'll also kind of find that you gotta put in a little bit of control stick to hold it, to keep it from sliding, because it will move around on you a little bit, especially if there's wind. But there's no wind today, so once you get the uh, skids down on the rocks, you kind of just kind of hold it in place and it'll stay there on you but uh, yeah this just shows you that uh, the simulator has built uh, these rock formations so that you can land on them I think almost all of them you can so I had to slide around a little bit as you can see just to get it where she wasn't slipping around so much uh, pretty cool view from up here. There's two uh, Boeings down on the apron. I wonder who's going to leave first. That's an interesting way of parking. Anyway, you pick up normally off of them, just slide off. And uh, I'm making an approach back to the runway. I saw something down here at the end of the runway was interesting. You never know about Microsoft Flight Simulator, what you're going to see. Some of the craziest stuff. Uh, this pilot has decided to uh, land and or park his plane in a very peculiar place. Um, yeah, must have been fun for the passengers getting out of the um, out of that, uh, out of the plane, but he didn't mess it up too bad. It's just kind of sitting on a roof and a fence and the side of the mountain, and looks like his speed brakes worked. Still trying to figure out how he got up there, but um, he was there for a while before he decided to slew out. I'm coming back in here. There's another Bell 407 on the other side there. The guy got out with four really nice looking young ladies, uh, all bikini clad. Geez, go figure out the islands. And uh, they're all heading over to uh, Bagatelli restaurant in St. Bart's, which I highly suggest if you ever go there. It's a great restaurant. Want to side slip out of here? Heading toward the beach. What a beautiful beach! And their water really does look like this. It's amazing. Of course, the beach is uh, is barren, but that's not typical. And the boat traffic in here is pretty heavy, usually with sailboats and. Uh, your bigger cruisers, not not cruise liners, but uh, yachts. So anyway, I just flying around St. Bart's a little bit, checking it out. It's a beautiful island to fly around. I would suggest it uh, either in a fixed wing or rotary wing. It doesn't matter. It's a cool island to fly around. There's a lot to look at, a lot to see. And uh, as you can see, I like to dial in a little bit of clouds to give it that. Uh, that summary look, but uh, the 407 is flying really good today with the 
the weather that I had dialed in. And uh, I don't know, there's just something about flying around the, uh, the Caribbean that's fun. They've, uh, they've done a really good job on uh, the presentation of the scenery. Here I'm coming in, I'm going to line up and do a uh, skid landing uh, to a stop. And uh, then we'll pick her back up and move her off the side of the runway. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Check it out, St. Bart's. And uh, it's kind of the first time I've seen the heavy sitting in here. But uh, I think somebody just decided to come in and chill out. But more than likely, they're generic. And they've uh, just put them in there for the time being. Just depends on the time of the day. Sometimes you come in here and there's no traffic at all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you get a chance, slip into St. Bart's. I don't have the I.O. for it, but if you just type in St. Bart, it'll come up. and. Uh, you can slow yourself in there. I think you'll enjoy it. It's got a lot of scenery, a lot of fun to fly in. So anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a good time, Raiderheads. Heads.